Hey guys, um, it's Kaylin again. The case that I chose was 12.1 Bluebird Care um, with Robin Martin um, of Bluebird Care. I'm gonna go, gonna go through the questions. Um, the first one says, who are the followers at Bluebird Care? Personally, I believe that every person in this case um, was a follower to some extent, um, which would be Terry, Belinda, Caleb, Jane, and James and, and Robin herself in some situations. Um, so I believe that in some way, each person within this case is a follower to some extent. Um, number two says, in what way is followership related to the mission of the agency? Do Robin and her managers recognize the importance of followership? Explain. Um, again, I, I believe they they recognize it to some extent um, because they understand um, the value of cohesiveness, which is why Caleb um, was saying that he was working to, to do that with the millennial age staff members. Um, and they also understand how um, the smaller environment created um, better relationships with the employees um, and, and how that strengthened their ability to lead. Um, however, now that they have more employees and they don't have those relationships, it's almost like they have lost um, those relationships. It doesn't sound to me like personally they have been reaching out to all of their employees, to, um, to all of their employees, not just millennial age, um, to... Um, ask for their opinions on things and, and ways that they could increase cohesiveness throughout the entire staff and things like that. Um, just according to what was here, I just was not noted. Um, so, you know, in order for their agency to run smoothly, they have to have people who are willing to do their jobs all the time and, and be there and, and work together and create and build those relationships. But it doesn't sound, um, sounds like that's something that they're struggling with. Um, so yes, to an extent, they they, I think that they understand the importance, but um, do they do enough about it? Uh, I I would say no. Um. So three says using the roles identified in Chatliff's follower typology. Uh, what roles do Terry, Belinda, Caleb, and James play in the agency? So I'm going to flip over to 12.4 to make sure that I use the correct terminology. Um, so Terry was Robin's go-to person um, for everything. So Terry definitely shows high support. And it also said that Terry was willing to challenge Robin um, when necessary. So high support, high challenged. Terry is more of a partner. Uh, Belinda, not the same. Um, Belinda, low support, high challenged. So she was an individualist. It says that she um, carried a lot of constant conflict um, with her. Caleb and James, um, I, I think that I would put them... Um, Somewhere in between implementer and partner, um, I didn't note a lot of challenge between those two um, with their, you know, with their with their mom with Robin. So I would lean more toward implementer rather than partner. However, um, Caleb seemed to really be taking initiative and going out and, and doing those things to increase um, cohesiveness, like I said earlier. So... He makes me want to kind of lead toward partner in a way because he's he's doing that as a as a leader himself. Um, number four says using the reversing the lens framework. Explain how Caleb and James characteristics contribute to the followership outcomes at Bluebird Care. Um, I think that because Caleb and James work so closely um, with the employees uh, to engage them and um, resolve conflicts and problems and increase um, or decrease the turnover rate and things like that. I think that they use the reversing the lens, reversing the lens approach um, more than any other character 
character within this case um, because they're really trying to look at the employees, see what they need, see what they want to ensure that they are able to keep them on staff for as long as possible. Um, so they're not looking at it through the lens of what do they need to do. They're looking at it through the lens of what do I need to do to keep you here. Um, number five says Terry and Robin have a unique relationship in that they both engage in leading and following. How do you think each of them views leadership and followership? Discuss. Um, I do think that they see each other almost as partners. Um, so their leadership and followership amongst each other um, is very much intertwined. However, based on what I read with Belinda, it didn't seem like they... Um, Really, I don't want to say didn't care about the way that she felt, but came to the understanding of what Belinda said. They were going to work together whether or not it really benefit, uh, really went to Belinda's benefit. Um, so I think that together it's very cohesive between those two. However, together they view their leadership role as, uh, more as a, a, a dominant position um, and don't value Belinda's opinion um, and, and feelings and emotion and thoughts as much because she is a follower. Um, so I think it just kind of, their view on leadership and followership depends on which leaders and followers you're talking about. Um, so... Number five. Number six, if you were an organizational consultant, what would you suggest to Robin that could strengthen Bluebird Care? If you were a followership coach, how would you advise Robin? Um, so personally, I just believe that um, Robin needs to, again, look at um, reversing the lens more, really look at... Um, try to view things as much as possible from her um, employees' positions. I would uh, strongly suggest lots of, I don't want to say getting to know you activities, but basically uh, team building, relationship building activities for her company because what she has, a, a, a staff of 25 is really not that many people. Um, so I understand that they work at different times to do different things, and now things are, are more virtual within her company, but she could still do um, lots of things to build those relationships within her company. And once she did that, then I think that she would see some of the th same things, some of the same positives that she had when she had a 10-man team. Um, so I would advise her to do that. I also would advise her to reach out to her, her employees Prior to making a decision, of course, some decisions have to be executive. However, um, I think she would have had a lot better reaction had she reached out to her employees about working on the weekends and things like that. Um, it could have been certain employees want to work on the weekends and, and would want to pick up their shifts and things like that. So really reaching out to her employees and see how she can effectively serve her clients Um while also ensuring that she is meeting the needs and the, the, the willingness of her employees as well. Um, I, I think that understanding that she also has to be a follower to those employees would um, increase their work ethic a lot more too. And that, I believe, is all of the questions. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.